What is up everybody? My name is Ryan and you're watching Project Racecar. Today I'm going to be talking about bleeding the stupid clutch system on the BMW. This one is an E92, um, but the new model BMWs is going to be, uh, they're going to be all the same. So um, I lo was looking on the forums uh, and this thing is a complete pain in the ass to bleed. Um, it, you can't just regular gravity bleed. I tried that. Um, I tried pumping uh, brake fluid back up through the system, through the bleeder valve, and that didn't help. So what I actually found uh, worked the best for me was uh, I pulled the um, sleeve cylinder out of the car, tilted it uh, upright so that the uh, piston is facing down, and then you just open up the bleeder screw, uh, and a uh, Basically, what this is going to do is allow uh, brake fluid to fill up all the way uh, to get to the bleeder valve. And then it's going to let a couple air bubbles out. Uh, you'll tighten this back up uh, and have somebody in the car uh, pushing on the clutch. When they do push on the clutch, you're going to want to uh, push the piston in about half an inch. That's going to give them uh, the actual clutch pedal back. Um, if you don't, they're just going to have a stiff clutch pedal. Uh, which doesn't do anything. So you'll have them actually uh, pump it a couple times and then uh, release the bleeder valve again and you'll get a couple more air bubbles out. You want to do this probably four or five times. That's how many times I did it. Um, and then when you're putting the slave cylinder back in the transmission, you're going to want to make sure that this piston fits on the transmission fork, um, the actual like throw out bearing. Um, and again, if you don't, then you're just going to have a stiff clutch pedal and the system isn't going to work. So uh, you'll, you're, when you actually get it to fit correctly, um, you'll have probably a, about a half an inch to an inch of actual pressure back on it uh, to get this bolt, uh, this top bolt to actually go on. Um, so it's a real pain uh, area to work in because you're underneath the car and you have about three inches of room to actually get around the bolts and everything. Um, but again, that's worked for me, uh, just tilting the sleeve cylinder uh, upright. So if you guys have any questions about bleeding the clutch or, or the uh, clutch system in general, um, before you go replacing the actual master cylinder and the sleeve cylinder and all the lines and everything, um, just shoot me a comment in the comment section down below. Uh, give this video a thumbs up and I will catch you guys later.